Actress Norma Talmadge was a big deal in the early days of movies. She was really good at acting, and people loved watching her on screen. Do you have any favorite memories or stories about her? Share them with us below, and keep watching this video for some interesting facts about her. Born on May 26, 1894, in Jersey City, New Jersey, Norma Talmadge grew up with two sisters in a modest household. Raised by a single mother, she faced financial challenges, but had a passion for acting from a young age. Her breakthrough in 1910 came when she caught the attention of Vitagraph Studios. She signed with Samuel Goldwyn's studio in 1916, which marked a turning point in her career. Despite personal challenges, including a difficult first marriage, her experiences contributed to her growth as an actress. Norma Talmadge's early life laid the foundation for her successful career in silent cinema. She left a lasting impact on the industry. Norma Talmadge, the actress, had someone significant in her life even after her divorce from Joseph M. Schenck. He continued to advise her on financial matters and guide her business affairs. In Los Angeles, there's a notable landmark called the Talmadge. This 10-story luxury apartment building was constructed in 1923. It stands at the corner of Wilshire Boulevard and South Barendo Street in Koreatown. The architects Curlett and Beelman designed it, incorporating ornamental features like large plaster cameos depicting the three Talmadge sisters. The building is part of the city's Angels Walk self-guided tour. In 1914, the Talmadge co-starred with Antonio Moreno, forming one of the screen's most popular teams. Norma Talmadge, the renowned actress from silent films, has left a lasting mark in Hollywood. She's well known not just for her acting, but also for her influence on the industry. There's a street named after her in West Hollywood called Norma Place. This street used to lead to a studio owned by her husband, Joseph M. Schenck. Initially, it was where Talmadge and her sister Constance made movies, but they later moved to Burbank Studios. The original studio was torn down and now houses stand in its place. Notable people like Dorothy Parker and Alan Campbell once lived on Norma Place. When Talmadge started at Vitagraph, she quickly became a star, appearing in over 250 films in her first five years. She attended Erasmus Hall High School in Brooklyn, where other famous actors like Barbara Stanwyck and Mae West also studied. Norma Talmadge's influence in the entertainment world, from her extensive film work to her ties with her alma mater, can still be felt today. Norma Talmadge, who was the older sister of Natalie Talmadge and Constance Talmadge, left an important impact in Hollywood. In 1927, she accidentally started the tradition of stars, leaving their footprints at Grauman's Chinese Theater by stepping into wet cement. Talmadge's influence went beyond her movies. She served as inspiration for characters like Lena Lemont and Norma Desmond during the move to sound in films. Unfortunately, like many others, her career took a hit with the introduction of the microphone in sound films. It's a reminder of how technology can change destinies in the entertainment industry. Norma Talmadge's story remains a cautionary tale in Hollywood history. Known for her work in silent films, she had a notable connection as the ex-sister-in-law of Buster Keaton. She produced a film titled herself, centered on an actress affected by the Armenian Genocide. Following the completion of the movie, she generously contributed $1,000 to Near East Relief. Additionally, she was the aunt of Buster Keaton Jr. and Bob Talmadge. These familial ties added depth to her personal life, complementing her professional endeavors. Her involvement in both the entertainment industry and charitable causes underscores her diverse interests and influences. Norma Talmadge, who graduated from Erasmus Hall High School in Brooklyn, New York in 1911, shared her graduating class with Mae West. In Show People, she acted alongside a notable cast, including Dorothy Sebastian, Loella Parsons, Estelle Taylor, Claire Windsor, Aileen Pringle, Carl Dane, George K. Arthur, Leatrice Joy, Renea Doré, Rod LaRock, Mee Murray, John Gilbert, Douglas Fairbanks, Marion Davies, and Williams Hart. She was the daughter of Margaret Talmadge, who was very involved in her daughter's career. Norma's success in Hollywood wasn't just about her talent. It also showed how determined and hardworking she was. Throughout her journey, she worked with many famous people in Hollywood, leaving a lasting impression on the silver screen. From her time in high school to her memorable performances alongside stars like Mae West and Douglas Fairbanks, Norma Talmadge's story still inspires actors today. It's a story of passion, ambition, and striving for excellence. In 1927, Norma Talmadge and her sisters ventured into real estate in San Diego, California. 
This development, now called the Talmadge District, features streets named after each sister and sits about one mile southwest of San Diego State University. According to a column in the New York Times from May 31, 1914, Norma's characters in movies had quite the dramatic love life. As of that date, they had been married 200 times, divorced 187 times, deserted by their spouses 156 times, and had 192 children. She gained a reputation as the most married and divorced woman in the world during her early years in the film industry. In the film show People, Norma Talmadge appeared as herself alongside her sister Constance Talmadge, who unfortunately couldn't join due to filming commitments in France. Norma was also a close friend of Marion Davies. Norma Talmadge was a big part of movies and left a lasting effect on the entertainment world. She had a tough time later in life because of bad arthritis, but she still made a big impression that people still remember today. Her famous face was not just in movies, but also on famous music covers. In 2009, she was on the cover of Electro Swing, showing how much people still liked her. Then in 2011, her picture was on the cover of top hits of the 1930s Vol one which made her legacy even stronger. Even now, people still think she's cool and talented. Norma Talmadge's influence goes on for generations, showing how much she meant to entertainment. This makes sure people won't forget how great she was. She was born in Jersey City and always had a strong interest in Niagara Falls, a story she and her mother often talked about. Interestingly, her gravestone, like her sister's, has the wrong birth year, showing 1897. According to historian Charles Lockwood, she had a habit of hiding her favorite jewelry in unusual spots. At first, she kept them in plain brown bags with the vegetables in the kitchen fridge. But later on, she started hiding rubies in red shoes, sapphires in blue ones, and emeralds in green pairs to keep them safe. This shows how clever she was and maybe gives us a glimpse into her desire for privacy. This story of mystery and peculiar behavior makes us think more about who she really was. Norma Talmadge and her sister Constance are honored in Hollywood, California, USA, with Talmadge Street named in their honor. In the 1910s, they worked at Vitagraph's West Coast Studio, now the ABC Television Center, where some of their early movies were filmed. At the age of 13, Norma received a letter to meet Harry Mayo, a casting director at Vitagraph Studio. However, after three weeks with no response, she returned. There, Beta Bruel, head of scenarios, noticed her and cast her in her first film, The Household Pest. When Norma was 13, she received a letter to meet Harry Mayo, a casting director at Vitagraph Studio. After three weeks with no response, she went back. There, Beta Bruel, head of scenarios, saw her and put her in her first film, The Household Pest. Norma Talmadge, the silent film star, experienced a tragic event in her personal life. Despite her success on the silver screen, her marriage to Joseph Schenck, a film producer, ended in a scandalous divorce. The divorce settlement in 1934 was one of the largest at the time in Hollywood, totaling over $1 million. It was a shocking revelation for fans and the industry alike, shedding light on the complexities of celebrity relationships. Norma's private turmoil contrasted sharply with her public image, showcasing the challenges faced by those in the spotlight. Her story serves as a reminder that fame does not shield one from personal struggles.